is a foolproof plan for me on how to calculate your macros if you want to lose weight, lose body fat, get lean for summer. What is up YouTube, Josh Eats back with another video today. We are learning how to calculate your macros. So, if you don't know what macros are to start with, your calories are broken down into macronutrients. So you've got carbs, fats, and protein. Carbs are worth four calories per gram. Fats are worth nine calories per gram. And protein, again, four calories per gram. So, say you are 180 pounds person. We are going to work out your calories. They're going to be 2,160. This is for losing weight, okay, guys? So to lose weight, for a 180 pound person, they're going to have 2,160 calories to play with. So we got that, 2,160 calories to play with. So my golden rule of thumb is one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Up into 200, I think 200 grams of protein per day for any person is more than enough and keep you not hungry during the day, you know. So, you go 180, 180 grams of protein. You times that by four, because four calories in each gram of protein. And that will give you a total of 720 calories in your diet coming from proteins. So, you got protein, 180 grams, times it by four, 720 calories of protein in your diet. So next, we're going to work out your carbs sources. So carbs, again, carbs are four calories per gram. So... We are gonna work out, actually we're gonna work out fats first. So I find that if we work out the fats first, it means that we can have the carbs left in our diet made from the rest of our calories left. So fats, you know what, about 20% of your diet, maybe up it to 25 and possibly push it as far as 30% of your total calories. So your total calories for 180 pound person is gonna be 2160 so you know 20% of 2160 is going to be let's say it's going to be so 216 it's going to be 432 calories from fat so we will round that up so we get a nice round figure of 450 450 calories from fat so for the end 450 calories from 450 calories from fats. So, simple equation, like we've done here, we times 180 by four to get our calories. Fats, remember, are nine calories per gram. So, we're gonna go 450 divided by nine this time. And that is going to work out two around about 48 grams of fat. I would say maybe round that up to 50 grams of fat. So 50 grams of fat is a substantial amount, you know, you're gonna get eat good for that. So 50 grams of fat in your diet is gonna be equal to around 450 calories. Remember this is just a ballpark figure, this 216, so you know, it could be a little bit more for you, a bit less. So we're rounding up and down to give ourselves round numbers, you know. So you know, 720 or 450, add them together. You're going to leave your remaining calories. They're all going to be your carb sources, your bread, your pastas, your rice, your rice cakes, anything you name it, potatoes, your vegetables are carb sources as well, you know? So that is going to be the remaining, that's going to be 990 calories from carbs. It sounds a lot, guys, but if you work it out, 990 calories of carbs isn't a lot. So we're going to do the same equation as we did for the fats to go backwards to work out our grams, you have 990 calories divided by four because four calories in each gram of carbs. And it's gonna give you a total of 247.5 grams of carbs. You, you, 247, probably say round that up to 250 grams of carbs. 
So, for the average round, it's very messy, this board, isn't it? 180 grams of protein. You're looking at 247, let's say 250 grams of, of carbs and 50 grams of fats. So, join for a brief summary in a second. Right, guys, so in summary, if you're a 180 pound person, you want 250 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fat, 180 grams of protein. Obviously, we worked this all out by our sums. Obviously, we did for protein, we did 180 as that's the weight times four. That gave us 180 grams of protein. For our fats, we took 20% of our total calories. So, our total calories was 2,160. We took 20% of 2,160, and that was 432. We rounded that up to 450, and we divided that by nine, and that gave us 50 grams of carb, of fats even. And for our carbs, we took our remaining calories. So we took our 990 remaining calories. Remaining calories. Again, we divided that by four. Everybody knows now. Surely, the carbs are one gram equal four calories, and that gave us 247, which we then rounded up to 250 grams of carbs. Obviously, if you weigh a little bit more, you're going to get a few more fats, you're going to get a few more carbs. Obviously, up to 200 gram, up to 200 pounds in body weight, I'd say keep your 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 uh, protein grams one for one, but any higher than that, just keep it around 200, and you and you'll be fine. So this is a foolproof plan for me on how to calculate your macros. If you want to lose weight, lose body fat, get lean for summer. This has been Joshy Eats. Thank you very much. Welcome.